Sham Khatka. I'm the FAO's representative in India. I, I am part of the organizing committee for this uh, conference on land. This issue is very important for us because uh, FAO uh, also has developed a voluntary guidelines for land tenure. Uh, so it has this, uh, this facility of working on the issues related to land. So in that context, we actively are participating uh, in this conference. There are, you know, the one thing you know, about India, the first caveat we have to have is that uh, it's a very big and very complex country. In terms of land also, the issues are very varied. There is no one particular issue on this. Um, from the resource use perspective, the land degradation is quite uh, significant. Uh, and that partly the degradation comes from the fact that um, the management of the land uh, the share, you know, sort of reliance on the private management of the land would not result into uh, protecting the potential, productive potential of the land. That's part of the problem that we're facing. There is a, a significant part of the country which is under the communal management. The community owner owns the land. Uh, there, is, uh, there is usually no private um, rights over the land. Uh, in a way, it's good in the sense that the resource utilization by the community, so basically there's more equitable distribution of the resource within the community. But in the meantime, uh, the modernized uh, kind of instruments are coming in, uh, the industrialists and other people are sort of co-opting with the leaders, of the community leaders, and trying to appropriate the land for the, their own benefits is becoming an issue. So one of the things we will be trying is to involve the whole community in the decision-making process of the land. Actually, India has very enabling uh, legal provisions. There is a, uh, the, these, uh, what they call PESA, the extension of Panchayat Raj institutions the, through the scheduled areas, as, the, as it is called. Uh, that gives an enormous amount of power to the local community in terms of natural resource management, including land. So, for the implementation of that particular empowering provisions are still an issue there's a lot of capacity building that we need to require there's a lot of you know detailed legislative work that we have to do forming the rules forming the, uh, the bylaws and many other things but the country has the, legal, the enabling framework so we should be working all together to make that that a reality